Hey, hey, hotel hoppers. We are excited today to be again at Intercontinental. This time we are in Intercontinental Bangkok checking out one of the rooms at 3220. So come on in and see how does this look like. Like all the rooms here actually have the same layout regardless whether it's the basic room or executive room or the club in the calculator room, the layout is the same, at least for time being. They, I know they are going to be renovating them, but let's have a look how it looks right now and, and still next for um, half year. So as we enter, we have a bathroom. There is a bathtub, well, spacious enough for one. And one of the cool things is that I know that they're going to be renovating, but they actually even now they still look uh, quite decent compared to some hotels that have been recently renovated. There's a very big single sink. And one interesting thing compared to the last time we were here is like usually they intercons have this agaria amenities. In resorts they have Haran, but here they have now transferred to biology amenities which are from Australia and have uh, essential oils. So depending either you have um, body wash or something, uh, for example, here at the shower, you have room for a shower and uh, things. So they also have like the same amenities and, and they have different. So for example, what is this? Body wash. This is uh, rosemary, grapefruit and lemongrass. Uh, but for example, conditioner has grapefruit, lavender and ginger. And uh, shampoo has the same grapefruit, lavender, and ginger. So a bit different depending what you want to wash. Toilet, uh, if you have diarrhea, there are express way of <laughs> two toilet papers in addition to the butcher. Um, here at the closets, we have the usual white robes and, uh, and, and slippers. Mm, nice and fluffy. Some hotels have downgraded their slippers during the COVID-19. They haven't done it. That's nice. Uh, here we have safe and ironing equipment. Um, one more thing I have to say that um, in this property, I know that many of you might be also intercontinental ambassadors. And sometimes you're like, it doesn't give you any more value than just um, an upgrade over here as one of the benefits. You can also choose free breakfast, even if you bake a base room. The bed, king size bed, uh, plenty of light, uh, charging points on both sides of the bed. No USB, but um, but the clock radio. That, oh, it has Bluetooth, but I think it doesn't have the USB charging points. Then here a TV, a DVD player. A uh, working desk. Um, that's actually kind of big and nice. It's kind of coffee. Probably you could also drink the, take the to chair to the other side. So you would have the big view. It's a bit cloudy today, but otherwise on 32nd floor, it's a very nice view over here. The cool thing you need to make a video calls, let's say. Ta-da all the video light you need. You don't have to carry extra equipment. Just put your laptop and you have like enough light for that. There are also extra power ports at the side. It is a bit old school. So the connection, uh, you don't have HDMI, but probably if you have yourself a longer cable, you can plug it in the TV. The day bed is great. Uh, the view is amazing. You can look into the distance. Maybe you are reading a book here and then you want to rest your eyes a bit or why not even like working here with your laptop uh, and looking in the distance. Also very possible. A bit of a disappointment is those green apples. Like if you're coming into the Thailand, you know, all the tropical fruits, the great fruits you have here and then uh, the green apples, not that exciting. But not enough uh, to talk about apples. Let's see what kind of tea you can make. So we're here, I think they used to have espresso machine. I was quite sure about that, but it seems like that's not the case now anymore. But you still have a decent uh, DWG tea. 
Imperial Oolong and um, Grand Jasmine. And the coffee thing is, is limited to, um, I think, is this cheaper even than Nes Nescafe? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing. The mini bar is empty for these days. And yeah, this is just an empty thing. But in any case, this is the review here at uh, Intercontinental Bangkok in one of the rooms. Um, all three room categories are the same from the layout for time being. Either you book the, the usual deluxe room, executive room, or the club in the continental room. The, just the difference is maybe the floor. The layout is the same and what benefits do you have? So um, that's about this. But they will be still using these rooms. They are actually, uh, even though they will be renovated, I think next April, they said at the front desk, they still are very nice and, and still you can use them. But that's a wrap. If you like this episode, <laughs> uh, click on the like button. If you are not subscribed yet to our channel, hit the subscribe button. And the cool thing is that you will be first one to be notified of all our next reviews in Bangkok and beyond. And if you have any questions regarding this particular intercontinental Bangkok, put it in the comments below so we can reply you other aspects of the experience uh, as well. But thank you for watching this time and see you soon again in a new property.